basically all the pedals and I use them all in very different ways. And like I said, I, I really like the AC booster for more of kind of that mid-range kind of tube screamer distortion. But if I want something a little bigger, I'll use the brute drive. And if I want something that has that kind of fuzz tone to it, I'll use the fuzzy drive. And the RC booster for me is just a pedal I use to kind of kick in a little bit more volume in my solos, you know. But I like to use it when it's clean too. Here's clean with it. So that was started. So that loop started off with, by using the RC booster for just kind of a clean sound, just to kind of beef it up a little bit. This is without it. Here's with it. A huge difference. It just brings out the tonal quality of the amp. You know, I'm using this Legacy, the Carbon Legacy, and it has a nice clean sound. You know, it's real flat. You put this pedal on. Really warms it warms it up and brings some of those tonal qualities you didn't have without it. This is without it. Here's with it. Okay, so going back to my loop, I'll kind of demonstrate the distortion pedals between the AC, fuzzy, and brute drive. So let's go back to what I made before. With the AC booster. RC booster. By the way, that's a cool combination between the AC booster and the RC booster. With the AC booster, you have a nice cleaner distortion, you know. With the RC booster on it. thickens it up. Let's check it out with the uh, brute drive and see how that sounds. So here's the brute drive. A little bit more subtle of a difference, but with the art with the AC booster, it really does give it a little bit more body, you know, and it's, it just makes it a little louder, which when you're playing live in the band, and your solo comes up, you need to be able to cut through the, the band as they're chugging away. So I like using the RC booster for the solos, but I really like using it as a clean sound too. Anyways, so back to what I was doing.